I've come down for breakfast this morning to find beautiful tulips on the kitchen table. That's a pretty lovely sight to start the day. The weather's taken a turn for the worse. Oh yes, look, just show you, there truly are hedgehogs everywhere in this house. Maybe I should say the weather has taken a turn for the better because we're desperate for rain. We're absolutely desperate. The groundwater supplies are so low that actually some parts of France already have water restrictions in place, which is unheard of at the end of winter. I spoke to Nick, the tree surgeon yesterday, and he said we shouldn't even be planting the new garden because he thinks that any new plants we won't be allowed to water this summer and they'll just die in their first year, which is heartbreaking after all the work that we've done so far. So I think we'll put in the hedges that we've got and then put tarpaulin over all of the beds that we've prepared so that they don't get covered in weeds. And then we can carry on with the hard landscaping, putting in the fountain, getting all of the structure ready. But it's just so frustrating. Still, weather like this makes the outcome look a little better for the future. I've just had a really exciting discovery. What is you it? You hear about it? Yes. So, <laughs> okay. I can't believe I didn't spot it before. There's one of the engravings of the chateau. I was looking at the two towers as I do. And I thought that's sloppy. You know, that one is a perfect rectangle. And there they were really sloppy with the top of it. It look, almost looks arched. Mm -hmm. And then I looked in the reflection, it's arched there too. So I realized it was a, a mistake. What? And then when I looked at the top here, it's got a little cross, which is confirmed by this one. This is the other engraving. This one is a bit more true to the way it actually was. The other one's less detailed. And it's got a little cross no on top way. of that tower. How have we never noticed? So, I've just found the original chapel of the chateau. You genius! That's so cool, right? Like, I'm so excited. Because we're always wondering about it. And you were saying that, for example, here, maybe the little tower that I discovered that I told the patrons about, that that might have been the original chapel. But now we've proved that that was wrong. And we actually know where it was. It was one of the lost towers of Lalande was the tower chapel of Lalande. Your eye for detail yeah. is incredible. I cannot I believe this discovery. <laughs> I can't get over Philip's discovery. We've always wondered where the old chapel of Lalande was because ours was built in the 1860s and we knew there had to be one before that. It's really put a spring into my step. Well, actually more of a squeak into my step. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm wearing super squeaky wellies. There's a little break in the rain, so I'm gonna go and see how Nick the tree surgeon's been getting on. Hello, lovely ladies. He's been very busy cutting down two dead oaks that were threatening this garden wall. So we've got one four metre piece and a two metre piece here for the mill. And, yeah, and then a bit of firewood at the end of it because of the rock where it was it died back from the top. And that's then why you took it down. That's why we took it down because of the wall garden, the risk of it yeah. and with these winds. You can see the state of the top of it, look. It just exploded. Oh dear. It was a bit wobbly at the top. There was a lot of lower branches, so there should be some nice pretty wood in there Lovely. with all the different grains. Oh, nice. Okay, so it, you're also looking decorative. Yeah, because it, what you've got to think of, you've got the centre of the tree, you've got a branch that grows out, so instead of the grain just being straight up and down, you'll get the branch pattern coming out in the grain. And with it being out, that is a lovely wood to look at anyway, with the light and dark areas on it, you've got a combination of the whole works. Gorgeous. So that's in that long length there to be where we know what we're going to do with it, cut, extracted onto the mill. I feel so lucky to have Nick here looking after all of the woods. Now I have to go in and start packing because I'm off to Dubai tomorrow for Jerry's birthday treat. Many of you will know I haven't been feeling great recently, so I was considering not going. But I'm not going to cancel Jerry's birthday, so I'm off to get ready. My goodness, Hansel, you'll soon be as beautiful as your father. Not quite yet, though. I am feeling much more human now that I've actually got some makeup on and I've tied my hair back and I'm really excited because it is time for today's ad which is for Lily Silk and this is one that I've really been looking forward to because they have sent me a couple of dresses in silk and cashmere and well <laughs> this is really lovely oh my goodness I love knitted dresses. I think you all know that. I tend to just wander around in knitted dresses all day. I find them so comfortable. Shall we see what's in the other one? I love the packaging as well. Look at this. They have these lovely boxes and also these envelope style gift bags. There's something about opening a parcel that can cheer up the bleakest day. This is the thing I have been looking forward to the most. I love cashmere, probably because I live in a freezing cold house and 
it's a cashmere jumper dress. Oh. All of Lily Silk's cashmere is sourced from Mongolian mountain goats. And yes, Philip is going to want one as a pet. And it only uses the soft undercoat of those goats. And it's called soft gold. It takes one goat a whole year to produce enough wool for just a scarf. Cashmere is an incredibly luxurious product. It's so soft and so warm, but it's an investment piece. It tends to be very pricey and Lily Silk makes it far more affordable. So cashmere is definitely my favourite winter fabric, but my favourite summer fabric is silk. And they've also sent me a silk dress. Silk and cashmere are both 100% natural materials, and this is mulberry silk, and it is the softest variety. And it's incredibly good for your skin and your hair. This is going to be one of my summer outfits. What do you think, Philip? I can't wait to see it on you. I know, you love stripes. And you'll be happy, it's got a belt. Good. Every time I put anything on, Philip's like, belt not a belt with that not always no, i don't want a belt with it usually this i shall wear without a belt you won't have anything from me i'm gonna try them on i love it and it's so comfortable i think you would have me dressed like this every day wouldn't you philip definitely Just you look beautiful elegant and effortless well it's the effortless um, part that i like you don't care whether it's effortless or not yeah, i do well, you wouldn't mind like little corsets <laughs> and tiny belts i was gonna say the comfort i might have you dressed like this every day except for the tag it's still on. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I can't wait to try it out once. I just wanted to show you all this one very quickly. It is very cold in here, so I won't be keeping it on for long, but it's like summer has arrived. But now it is definitely time for the cashmere. I found my favourite. I knew it. I knew the minute this arrived, I would live in it. And Philip, you're going to get so annoyed because I do that when there's something I love, I wear it all the time. I thought I'd show it to you with the shoes because these are the shoes that Philip bought me for my birthday and with the red it looks amazing but it's more of a thick black tights and boots sort of a day so I'm going to change into that. I think you look beautiful. I love it so much. I love it. Okay I'm gonna wear this one today and we've even got silk colour casing as well Philip Ooh. which is incredibly good for your hair actually. So The colour oh, goes yeah. perfectly in this room. Oh I love it. It is perfect to sleep on every night. You get much less breakage with your hair too. And if you want to try Lily Silk for yourself, and I can't recommend them enough, then go to lilysilk.com and use the code TCD12 to get an extra 12% off everything. And they have a very wide range of styles and sizes. It's amazing. I will also put a link in the description box below. Oh my God, I just saw a car arrive and I'm sure I saw Michael. No! <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How come? Oh, I was in the neighbourhood. You were in the neighbourhood of Crozon sur Vauvre. Well, France. I was in Paris. Oh my God! This is the best news. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's happened to you? It's wet. Wow. Had a bath and had a shave. Yeah. I knew. You, <laughs> you knew. I thought it was only Natty. You did such a good job. Natty and I don't keep secrets. Oh, you are one. I was so excited. Cheers. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Well, as you completely surprised us last minute, we're going to have a bit of an evening. Everyone's going to eat together and I am the king. And we're having something special to drink. We are having a bottle of... Rue. And that's the one that you were given when we were in uh, Burgundy together, yes. isn't it? Definitely worth coming uh, all this way for. Seriously, this is a massive round trip. You said you have to leave at seven o'clock in the morning. Yes. And then Michael said to me, when he realised that I was going to be in Dubai with Jerry, he said, but you realise you're leaving just as I finished filming the Saudi Grand Prix. I thought, well, that's really stupid. We should organise something. And then I said, well, no, I can stay a couple of days longer. So Jerry's going to fly back at the end of our trip and then I'll stay two days longer and you'll fly over from Saudi. Yes. Really, really nice. Bon appétit, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Good Thank you. to have you here, Michael. Cheers. 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 Michael's having his big goodbyes now because he's yeah. leaving too early in the morning. <laughs> Night all. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> As usual, we didn't plan enough time, so it's breakfast of champions on the run. Bye bye, Pavelina. Have a great time. You too have a lovely time here. See you soon. Bye. Bye. You didn't think I'd have time for breakfast and look, I'm you having didn't. it now. <laughs> We're late because of it.
It's actually turning into quite a beautiful morning. It's already 11 degrees. It's 5.30 in the morning and I'm up, I'm dressed and I'm ready for adventure because I'm standing in my flat in London with Gerald and I would say I'm standing with the elusive Nick but he's very much lying on the sofa bed wishing we weren't disturbing him at this time. Anybody watching, when we get to the airport I just want to tell you Dubai! Dubai everybody! So this is how it started and Dubai. I think this is how the entire holiday is going to be going. Philip and Nick are staying here, having some fun London time. And I thought this was fine. I was like, oh, it's great. I'll have a lovely, lovely trip with Gerald. You can get on with things in London. But now the moment's arrived, I'm really going to miss him. Your face is the way I feel as well. It's party time. You know, <laughs> as soon as we're at the door, we'll see a bus pulling up. And they'll all be out with banners and balloons. Da -da -da -da. Nick is absolutely in the party spirit. No, you can see that. Yeah, but that's just getting us under a false pretense. Yeah, the it's second like, we're gone. Oh, pretend I'm sleeping. Nick and I are going out every night. Razzle dazzle. Mm -hmm. You're going to paint the town beige. Yes. Magnolia. <laughs> we're coming into land after a lovely flight. It was a wonderful flight. Absolutely lovely. And I would love to show you our first view of Dubai. We're stuck in the middle row. This is bringing back really weird memories. Well, when we came the last time, three years ago, we were on our way back from Cambodia. When we were in Cambodia, that's when we found out all of Europe was going into lockdown and we nearly didn't make it back on time. I had to change my flight on the way into Dubai to get the first flight, in fact, the last flight out of Dubai into France. We landed one hour after the borders in France had been closed and thank goodness we were still allowed into the country. The whole plane cheered. And that's why we thought, finally, we'll and, do that holiday that we missed Steph, then. And took my Suitcase. luggage. I don't think I wanted the tartan, Jerry. That was an accident. Yes, yeah, yeah. I didn't want a bright pink suitcase either. <laughs> this is it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Stephanie, we're in the right place. Oh, look at the flowers. It's actually very good of them, Jerry. They were prepared for our short family. <laughs> Hello. Because usually when I go to the counter, I'm standing for about half an hour. Before anyone notices we're there. <laughs> and I say hello and say, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. We're a balcony. I can't wait to see the blue sea tomorrow. And you see the dressing gowns. If you You'll be trying that later, will you? Well, I don't know how I'm going to get them in my suitcase. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> right, let's go and get a bite to eat in the well, hamburger. Let's go. We were a bit confused. We've been given black plastic gloves with our cutlery. Why? It looks a little bit sinister watching you do that. You seem to be getting quite into it though. The last time I wore gloves like this, I've got three months. <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. To get used to the whole glove thing. How are you supposed to get your mouth into the hat? <laughs> you have to be the joker. Wait till you see these views. I've actually been up swimming this morning. I can't believe you've already been up and I've literally just opened my eyes. Jerry's just brought me a cup of tea. That's something to wake up to. There, I could get used to this. I didn't see the beach yesterday. Like, Look at this. That's what I'm saying. I was down there swimming this morning. Morning on. I'm up, I'm going to put my swimming costume on, a little light dress over the top, that way I can go to breakfast and straight to the pool off. What has Jerry got on? Every time I'm on holiday with Jerry, he manages to find another mildly culturally inappropriate thing to do with tartan, and I think today's another classic. There is zero chance of you going downstairs like that, Gerald. Abdullah McGrady <laughs> of the far distant land. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it suits you. I mean, peace to the world. Fantastic, Abdullah McGrady, but can you take that off before we go downstairs? For goodness sake, Stephanie, I was having a great time. <laughs> Some of you might be in quite cold climbs thinking you don't need sunglasses at the moment, but trust me, the moment you see my white limbs in this swimming costume, you will feel a little blinded. You might prefer to put sunglasses on now. Let the holiday begin. Page one of Wilbur Smith's The Seven Scroll. See if I can finish it by the end of the holiday. It seems pretty unlikely though. One of the big double beds in front of us has just become clear. So Jerry's gone to check and if it is, he's going to claim it, he says, in the name of Scotland. 
Oh yes, it is success. From now on, this double bed will be forever Scotland. Thanks, Gerald. This is the life. The fun starts tonight. <laughs> the fun started as soon as we got, I got to London. Nope. You. The fun starting tonight. We're going to the very top of the world's tallest building. And then we're going on a little boat ride with a twist. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, thank you for a lovely birthday. I think I've got a thing for palm trees with fairy lights. <laughs> I mean, how amazing are they? Do you know that at their land, Amory has covered all of the trees in the courtyard with fairy lights permanently. So from now on, that's it. Every evening, the whole court oh, can be lit up with fairy lights. There's so many queues here. We've got tickets to go right to the top. I'm not too sure where we're supposed to be. We're trying to find out. But the weird thing is that the taxi brought us straight into the basement. So although we're going up the tallest building, we can't see the tallest building. So I'll show you a photo of the tallest building whilst we try to work out where on earth our lift is. Well, we've been ushered into a big black room and no one's explaining what's going on. There's a lot of us waiting in here. Who knows what's going to happen next? We're pretty definitely in the basement, so no one in there seems. Oh, something's happening. Most mysterious. We're getting stickers. By the time this happens, it'll be my birthday next year. I'll be celebrating. <laughs> We've got our stickers. VIP sounds very swanky, but I think it just means we get a drink at the top. I'm a VIP. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland. Welcome. <laughs> This is not for the claustrophobic. Oh, the small. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, that is a fast elevator. It's not really fast, is it? My ears just popped. We got out of that level so and now this we're is in another lift VIPs. to go higher. I don't know about you, Jerry. I'm not sure how much I needed the stock prices whilst I was in the lift. That makes me Oh wow, we're 585 meters up. Hey, <gasps> Gerald. Look at those views. Jerry and I certainly have a table with a view. It's just the two of us here. It's so strange. There's these little window alcoves going around the building, like this, and each one has its own table and chairs in. And look at the view that we have. Weirdly, I'm less scared up here, so high up, than I was in the basement, queuing for the lift, thinking there's a lot of weight of 160 stories above us. This feels better. We are the only people on the terrace. How is this even possible? We just walked out of the building and that's where we were. It's beautiful. Oh, right up there at the top, just below the spire. And now we're looking for the boat because I booked us a trip on the lake to see a fountain display. The boats are coming in. They're really pretty. That's old it's traditional style. was incredible. I heard it was a fountain show. I, had, I was not expecting that. I was absolutely not expecting that. Oh, I'm back in our hotel and the only 13th floor left. I don't feel my, my ears popping. No popping. The no ears popping. actually popped. I know, it was on that left. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Jerry's chosen the restaurant we went to the very first night for his birthday meal and I think that's probably the latex gloves. There's just something about those gloves that's yeah, just yeah. drawing you back. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a certain kick to it. <laughs> Beautiful. It's time for Gerald's good night read on his birthday. And look what we've got. Aloysius the Ram at the Bric-a-Brac. That is a wonderful story. Aloysius the Ram decided today was a glorious day to run off for a play. His plan was quite simple. To achieve his escape, he charged at the entrance and shattered the gate. I won't read all of it, but... Dripping in mud and covered in leaves, he strolled into town and was suitably pleased. Oh no! 
He's found the Brocante. So whilst he's causing absolute chaos, back at the chateau, Scott Man revealed that Aloysius the Ram had escaped from his field. A search party gathered, their task was defined, to find Aloysius and save all mankind. Scott Man declared, you've got to do this, Gerald. Aloysius the Ram, you're causing me stress. Look at this chaos and look at the mess. This rowdy behaviour now has to stop. You have upset the town and demolished the shop. That's it. Birthday bedtime story. This is amazing. Joe Rothwell, you are incredible. Goodbye, room 1124. It's been marvellous. I'm really, really heartbroken to be leaving. Me too. I hate this. Okay, bye, bye. I love Miss you. Miss you already. Thank you for a lovely time. Bye. Happy birthday. Oh, it's the best birthday ever. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I feel super emotional with Jerry leaving and it's ridiculous. I'll be seeing him in two or three weeks time back at Lalande. Mike will be here tomorrow. I get to lie here with this lovely view. I've got some work to do, but I've got my laptop here. So it's a pretty perfect place to work. But I'm feeling a little bit as I did after my father's death when anyone leaving made me feel disproportionately sad. I had a really quiet night last night after Jerry left and this morning I have been running around like crazy because Michael was arriving one minute before the end of breakfast. So I collected just a few basics so that we wouldn't miss breakfast by the time you got here. Hello. Hello. How was Saudi Arabia? How was the Grand Prix? It was really good. It was really good. I left straight from the track to the airport so I'm a little bit tired. So you didn't sleep at all last night? I didn't sleep at all. We've had one day by the pool and I arranged a late checkout just so that Michael would be able to have a little bit of a poolside holiday because we're going to move to a Hilton more in town. It's called the Heritage Al Sif Hotel. It's much cheaper than this one. So this one was for Jerry's birthday, but now we're going somewhere a lot more reasonable. And I'm quite looking forward to it because it's supposed to feel like Dubai back in the 1940s, which I think I'll really, really enjoy. They've been so lovely here. They're letting us have late checkout at 7 p.m. That's why we could have the whole day here. But now it's time to go and get ready to go on the next stage of the adventure. Goodbye, Hilton Palm Jumeirah. It has been short, but very, very sweet. And now we're gonna step back in time, back to the 1940s, back to old Dubai. Look at this, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Yeah, but say goodbye to it because it's over now. Oh. <laughs> it's the end. Only just a rock. I know. Sorry, time to go. Come on. All right. Well, this is like a different world. I can't believe how different this feels to the palm where we just were. Thank you very much. This is our new home. We've just checked in and we've been told that we need to get onto a golf cart to go over to the building that we're in. Well, Dennis. I love golf carts. To me, this is like highlight. A <laughs> walk. Going into little alleyways. I can't get over how different this is yes. from the Hilton on the Palm. Going deeper and deeper into the warren of alleyways. Wow, this is so cool. I know the smell of the incense. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. This is beautiful. Not Michael spot I have no idea what, but he seems tremendously pleased. What has he spotted? Oh wow, tower. Okay, now I really feel at home. And look, the modern world just peeping around. Sorry, I'm the one with the key. Yes. <laughs> we have a one bedroom suite, which obviously can be rented as two rooms because there's an adjoining door here, but each side has a mini bar, each side has a bathroom. I'll show you the bathroom, just in here. It is like stepping back in time. I love the sink. I love the tiles in the shower and the bronze shower fittings, the old mirror and an old fashioned blue with, of course, an emergency telephone. I mean, you never know when you're going to need that in here. This is my room, which leads out onto a balcony. And again, the old fashioned telephone and the alarm clock and the little lanterns as bedside lights. It's so gorgeous. And the ceiling, the fan. I'm incredibly enthusiastic about this place. Let's go out to the little balcony where I have a view out over the souks below and Michael Potts. Michael Potts. There you are. I was trying to see you over the top of the wall. Would you mind showing us the sitting room, Aka, your bedroom? Yes. And this is uh, the oldie um, 
Um, modern sofa bed. Modern sofa bed. <laughs> you have a better view on your side there, I've admitted it. Because from your balcony, can we look all the way down here? Oh, I love this. You look up there, you'll see no. two of the naughtiest little pigeons. They are extremely naughty pigeons, you can tell, can't you? One of the watch faces is particularly guilty because they've been doing that to the sofa. <laughs> okay, so we'll mainly be sitting on the sofa on my side. Yes. And having standing drinks here. <laughs> the pigeons have one. <laughs> This is it, we're off to the desert and yes, Michael is wearing my sunglasses because in his infinite wisdom, he came to the Middle East with no sunglasses at all. What were you thinking? Well, so uh, normally I'm taking photographs and- Oh, they're in the way. They're in the way. They also change the light. So it just doesn't look the same. Oh, he's too professional to wear sunglasses. <laughs> Where are we? Yeah. Oh no, we're lost again. I haven't actually been to the desert before here. Yeah. I've been to Dubai a lot of times. So. Oh, so you're doing something for, that's very rare. You never do something for the first time. This is great. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. I'm not going to be able to film whilst I'm doing this for obvious reasons. Does the visor even come down? How does this thing work? I forgot everything he said. That was brilliant, wasn't it? Um, I thought I was going to die. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and I were right at the back. I, did you see I got a lot faster towards the end? Yes. Though. <gasps> I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> it was terrifying. I know. There were so many times when we're kind of going over the side of the dune and the quad bike is going like this and going, it's going to fall over. It's going yeah. to fall over. And then I'll just trundle about the hill. <laughs> yes, you kept going off from the rest <laughs> of the group going, don't this. like the look don't of that like dune. This. Don't like this. No, not for me. <laughs> I'm usually on the other side of the helmet. <laughs> We've walked into a dream. A camel. This is exactly what I needed in my life right now. That looks a lot slower than a quad bike. I'm still recovering from the whole quad bike experience. Okay, you're settled here. I go, my camel smells. Yes. <laughs> Thank Hold you. Lean back, huh? Lean back, okay. Hold that. Okay. Hold tight, lean back, right. Oh, wow. Are you loving it? Yeah, this is really good. I can imagine what it would be to be crossing the desert in one of the spice trains. I do have a bit of a fanciful imagination at times like this. We're just heading to the next oasis. I'm seeing a completely different side to Dubai after all of this glitz and glamour that I did with Jerry, which was of course really good fun. I'm feeling more at home somehow with this. Maybe in the past I've got some genetic link to someone who crossed the desert on a camel, but to me, this is way better than a swimming pool. I like the old-fashioned quad bikes more than <laughs> Yeah, me too. The old-fashioned quad bikes much more stately. Yes. Yeah. More personality as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, let's go get some dinner. This looks amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. It just feels like an oasis in the middle of the desert. I don't know what to choose this so much. Chicken majbos. Marinated chicken with majbos rice. Roasted eggplant salad. That is a must. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I know. I can't believe how beautiful the camp is. Yeah. I honestly feel as though we've been trekking on a camel for days. We have, and finally... we have, we have. What is it? It's deep fried balls of joy <laughs> dipped in some sort of sugary thing with little flakes of love on top. They okay, that's that's a technical magical. description. Deep fried ball of joy? Dipped in sesame seeds. And date. That is delicious. I'm off to bed in this lovely atmospheric room after an extraordinary day in the desert. I loved every second though. I think I might feel that quad bike in my limbs tomorrow. I was pretty tense the whole time. I'm so glad that I did come to Dubai with Jerry because being here with him and seeing Michael here as well has absolutely lifted my spirits. I feel much stronger than I did last week and ready for the season to start soon at Lalande. Just after Easter, the bed and breakfast season will be open and we'll be meeting so many lovely people. I'm flying back tomorrow, so all going well next Week, I'll be back at Lalande and sharing Chateau life with you. So see you all then, and in the meantime, night night from Dubai. Bye.